Hi, I'm back with a new version for this project, uh, the version for scooters and motorcycles. In this version I decided to use only 10 LED, uh, LEDs per strip, uh, because in scooters and motorcycles we don't have too much space to work with, um, but if you want more than 10 LEDs, just put how many LEDs you want and don't forget to modify in the code. Um, for tail lights and brake lights I decided to use two strips, uh, one strip to react uh, to tail lights and brake lights and another strip to react to brake lights. That is because every scooter and motorcycle have their unique lights uh, arrangement like shown in this picture and in this way you can customize the look and feel however you want. So, let's see the lights. Left turn signal, right turn signal, hazard lights, daylight, with turn signals, tail lights, brake lights, and night rider lights. What I forgot to mention in the last video uh, is that you can use how many strips you want for every output as long as you put them in parallel and respect uh, the signal direction. For example, if I want to use two strips for brake lights and only for brake lights and just connect a new strip in parallel plus 5 volts signal and minus or ground and everything should work perfectly. Or just connect it to the tail lights. For demonstration, I've powered everything up from a step uh, step down buck converter that supports up to two amps uh, at the output. Here we have the input. Let's probe it. Now we have 14.3 volts, but uh, the input can be anywhere from 6.2 volts up to 30 volts. The reason that I said 6.2 is because every chip for step-down converters uh, has an internal voltage reference, uh, in this case 1.2 volts, and the, out, uh, the input voltage must be higher than the output voltage with the reference voltage. So, if I want 5 volts, uh, I must provide a minimum of 6.2 volts uh, at the input. And I think this voltage is like always specified in the datasheet. After you connect the input uh, to the step-down buck converter, don't forget to, um, to adjust the output voltage via this potentiometer. Uh, and after that connect the load. I've already adjusted and we have 5 volts. Here is, um, here is the optocoupler for controlling the inputs. Um, this is the 5 volt side and this is uh, the higher voltage side. And we can control the brake just fine. Just remember that when you are testing a project, uh, this or any other project, don't power the microcontroller for multiple power supplies because you can kill uh, you can kill the controller or worse you can kill your USB port. Um, you either power up from USB, uh, the power jack, or like in this case from a step down buck converter. As in the previous version, uh, you can customize everything in the code: timings, uh, colors. Uh, 
uh, the pattern the patterns for taillights and everything is commented so it should be very easy if you implemented this uh, project don't hesitate to show us uh, and if you need help just ask in the comments next version will be for bikes and if you like this project please like share and subscribe thanks